Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received and the translation of that message, it reads like this. Hello, how are you brother Nash? Can you please post my own story? is unknown so i manipulated my own grandmother and made her to curse my ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend but now it is really spiraling out of control at the time when i told my grandmother to do this i just wanted to punish him you know after you've broken up with a man a man that you loved with all of your heart and you just want to see that man suffering as much as possible. But Brother Nashi, now I can see that the things that I did, they are not okay. And I hope that I'm going to find people that will be willing to assist me. I never thought that I was going to be one of those people that will be sharing their own confession. I wish I could go back and undo it all. But here I am. I am haunted by the things that I did. And I feel like I am trapped. Like I am in my own nightmare. And I convinced my own grandmother. And I convinced her to curse my ex-boyfriend with his new girlfriend. This was last of last month. Yes, it might sound so unbelievable, but I was so lost in anger and heartbreak that I let jealousy get the best of me. I wanted to feel the pain. I wanted him to feel that pain that I was going through. I convinced myself that everything that I was doing, I was standing right before God and I was justified because even in the Bible, the Bible talks about when a woman is gone, she becomes jealous. So with the way that he had conned me, I thought that maybe this was my own perfect opportunity to make him to repay. It all started after the breakup that I had with him. We had been together for a couple of years. And you know, as a woman, when you have been with a man for the longest time, he knows each and every part of your body. He knows you in and out. And that is just what drove me to insanity because i was in love with him but there he was telling me that he wanted us to break up even though we had been talking about marriage i did not want to have unprotected sex with him he forced me and he begged me and he said that if you give it to me then we will get married we even had dreams of having a family someday i thought that he loved me the same way that i loved him so when he broke up with me out of the blue, I felt like my whole world came crashing down on me. He said that he needed space, that he was not ready for the kind of commitment that I wanted. He told me he still cared though, but that was not enough. A month later, he was already seeing someone else, a girl whom he introduced to his friends and then to the family. And I saw posts all over social media. People, they were asking like, what happened to you guys and when people would be asking him and they would be like go and ask her as if there was something bad that i had done i had never cheated or anything the only little sin that i committed was that i once spoke bad about the mom because the mom there was one point when we were fighting so the mom was now on her son's side so she then said that ah so i cannot be with you because the way that you went around gossiping with your friends about my mom it means that you will never become a good daughter-in-law i was in pain like real pain seeing him with a girlfriend it was like a slap in the face i could not look away i kept on snooping i kept on checking his social media watching them together and I felt this jealousy that was consuming me from the inside. I could not sleep. I could not eat. I could not focus on anything. And even though my friends tried to comfort me, that nothing helped. Every time that I would close my eyes, I would see them together. I wanted, I wanted them to feel the same pain that I felt. Then one night, as I sat alone, overwhelmed by the bitterness that had taken control i had no idea that having that discussion with my grandmother my grandmother was going to offer me some kind of help so my grandmother when i went to see her i did not tell her the whole truth i twisted the story 
to make Tabo not his real name, as if he was the one who had wronged me, as if he was imperfect. I told my grandmother a lot of lies about him, wanting my grandmother to hate him. Even I told her that he was going around making our family as a laughing stock. I said that him and his girlfriend, they had been cruel to me, so I wanted my grandmother to curse them. My grandmother said that she could do that. And then she performed a very small ritual, and then she told me to go outside and to speak a few words, just a few words, cursing Tao and his girlfriend, and to bring them the same heartbreak that they had caused me. I felt really great when I returned back. I saw that my grandmother had these two dolls that she had tied together. She said, go and just throw them wherever you want in a place where people are not going to quickly find them. It was late at night. I walked for about 500 meters and I throw those two dolls into the bushes. After that, I returned back to my grandmother's house and then that was when i heard that they were fighting like since that day until now they have been fighting but the problem is that even though they are in a toxic relationship but what i have noticed about these people is that no matter how hard they give each other heartbreaks but they cannot be separated from each other and as we are speaking right now last week like they had a very big fight i heard that they had gone out and when they were returning back then they started to have an argument both of them they were drunk the woman then grabbed a knife and stabbed tabo with the knife and then lucky enough she wanted to stab tabo on his chest in which he could have died but he blocked and he was stabbed on his hand so he went to the hospital he's still recovering now so people thought that no this is it these people they are now going to break up but what surprised everyone was that instead of breaking up they are still together it's like they are enjoying being toxic to each other i then went to speak with my grandma about the situation and she told me that those two dolls that i tied together well least they were not facing each other it means that these people even though they will still be in love but they will continue hurting each other until they die so i have since asked my grandmother to help me to release these two people because i do not want them to murder each other she said let us go to the place where you threw away those dolls so that we can burn them then the curse will be lifted up we went and we walked we walked but we could not find them she kept on asking me do you still remember where you left them and i said yes i still remember but we could not find them so without without those two dolls there is no way that i can release these two people from this toxic relationship of theirs dear listeners right there was a narration of a message that we received yo strange things indeed they do happen in this world dear sister you need to make a plan as quickly as possible you need to know that once those two people um if it happens that uh, they end up killing each other then it means that their blood will be on your hands so you need to try to find the solution as quickly as possible but let us try to assist here in the comment section